Paolo has been with me and my family since I was a little kid. Pandora and Panettone will never miss in our house. My favorite part was to open the box, inside this little bag, there's powdered sugar. Just imagine me, you know, six years old, walking around the house, making a mess, and my mother always, don't break the bag, Luca, don't break the bag. The great thing about Pandoro is that Bauli still uses the recipe of 85 years ago. There's no preservatives, everything is natural. There's flour, a lot of butter, of course, and lots of love. There's no shortcuts, everything is natural. Today, I'll show you my favorite, the apple bread pudding. And instead of using bread, use Pandoro, which is so full of flavor already moist with all the butter. What I like to do is I cut it in cubes and toast it in the oven to get it nice and crispy. Today I'm gonna show you pink lady apples and the regular classic custard. Great flavors for your fantastic Pandoro Bauli bread pudding. The secret of my bread pudding not, not only is Pandoro Bauli, but is a wine sauce that my grandfather used to make back in the days. So use your favorite red wine, one apple, a few bay leaves, cinnamon sticks, four or five cloves, and a little bit of vanilla. Stir until the sugar is melted. The wine will start boiling and that's where you know that the alcohol will evaporate. Keep it on low heat until it gets almost like a syrup. And then let it chill and put it on top of your bread pudding. The Pandoro Bauli has been toasted. Now we need to prepare the custard. One and a half cups of heavy cream, one and a half cups of milk. Put this on the stove until it boils. In the meantime, crack your eggs. I use four eggs for this. One cup of sugar. Peel and dice your apples. Put it in a nice large pan, couple of tablespoons of butter, little bit of vanilla, nice big spoon of sugar, and a couple of tablespoons of cinnamon. We let the apples cook for maybe five minutes. You don't want them to be too mushy. I like still that crunch in my apples. But the milk and the cream are boiling. So we are ready to make our custard. So remember, this is a raw egg, so you wanna make sure that you cook them. Pour a little bit of milk, a little bit of the time on the eggs. Then we're going to put the egg mixture back on the pot and cook it for maybe just for more 60 seconds. Now it's time to assemble. So do a layer of apples, and a layer of pandoro. And then pour your custard. Let it soak for 30 minutes. Last part, cook your bread pudding at 350 for 45 to 50 minutes. Only 45 minutes, your pandoro bauli apple bread pudding is ready. Now let it set at room temperature and then dress it up the way you like but I'll show you the way I like my Pandoro Bauli bread pudding. With a little bit of gelato, vanilla gelato, and I finish it with a mold wine sauce. 